Well, it's Erwin again, and welcome to another quick review in a series of quick reviews of new to the library poetry books. This book and a million other things are available for curbside pickup at the Elk Grove Village Public Library. Drive-By Vigils by Arzamora Lindmark was published in 2011. He has written three other books of poems as well as several novels. Arzamora Lindmark's Drive-By Vigils has a lot going on in it for a slim volume, but a few things come directly to mind. Location, dialect, and something like desperation. In the poem called Found in Palermo, Buenos Aires, the speaker mentions the Argentine writers Jorge Luis Borges and Manuel Puig. Then throughout the poem, goes on to name what appear to be streets in the Palermo district of Buenos Aires, Argentina. Thames, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Honduras, Panama. Then, memories of Manila, Philippines, seem to take over the mind as they will. Here, the speaker is walking through the city when... It's station of sad faces that cover up quickly with Manila scenes and soundtracks because Manila can't stand silence and sadness that, sooner or later, catches up. Hawaiian pigeon figures strongly in some of the poems, like right here in the title of this one, Federico Garcia Lorca to be sung in pigeon English. The poem, as we find in the book's notes, is homage to a specific Garcia Lorca poem. The pigeon is used skillfully and effectively, as in this line from the middle of the poem and in the last lines of it. I when kill time, half of my shadows stay gone already. But they know can find me. They cannot? No, they know can. They know can. Sometimes reading poetry can come down to the pleasure of reading a well-written line. Here are three plucked out of place, the third with an example of enjambment, where the line breaks while the meaning continues in the next line. From the poems On Beauty and Irregardless of My Feelings and New Year's Eve. What he terribly mistook for beauty. If no reply, Crayola a river. The electric shaver that never fails twice. Many of the poems have a confessional or especially personal feel. New Year's Eve is one of them, with an ending that speaks the sense of desperation that seems to lie just beneath the surface of the pages of the book. Half a stanza and the last. One hand not letting go of my black suitcase and its four worn wheels, the other deep into all the emptiness my small pocket can hold.